take a look at a reconstruction of a scene involving domestic violence so that we can talk through some of the issues afterwards. Now, I should warn you that whilst this is a reconstruction involving actors, some parts of this film are violent. Hello? Jack! How are you? Well, you'd better watch it then. You know what they say, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. <laughs> Robert. Well, he's, um, he's getting more and more frustrated every day. It's three years now since he lost the business, and, well, at his age, jobs are hard to come by. I'm still at Waterman's, though, and we're, we're coping. <clears throat> oh, it's too late to change things now. Sandra and Paul are living away from home, too busy with their own lives. Thank God for that. Colin? Mm, he manages as best he can. <laughs> At the moment, father and son are not on speaking terms. Story of my life, really. <laughs> I know, I don't. Look, can we change the subject, please? Hmm? Tell me the latest romantic saga in your life. Don't tell me Miss Wright is still nowhere on the horizon. Obviously, Jack, you are the limit. <laughs> I don't believe it, the poor girl. <laughs> Who is it? It's, uh, <clears throat> it's Jack. Robert's just come in. <clears throat> Would you like a word with him? What, with a boyfriend? Why, well, compare notes. Thanks, but no thanks. I don't want to talk to him. Look, look, Jack, I've got to go. Y yes, yes, everything's fine. Don't worry. I'll, I'll speak to you again sometime, and, and thanks for... Co oh. You keep your slimy hands off her. You slag, you carrying on behind my back. You think I can't see what's going on? You think I'm stupid? <laughs> not true. Jack's just a friend. Our friend. We haven't got any other relationship. The hell you don't. What do you think I saw just a second ago when I came in, you simpering and sniggering into the phone like that? Or what do you do to me? Give me misery, more misery and more bloody misery. Why? Because you bring in the cash. I'm no longer mad enough for you. Is that what it is? And where the hell did these come from? Did he bring you these? Come on, answer me, you two timing tramp. Did he damn you? Damn you. Damn you. Oh, stop damn you to stop. hell. For God's sake, Stop it! You know I always bring those flowers from work like I always do. You are a goddamn bully. You just need an excuse to have a go at me, to abuse me. You think I'm a misery? Of course I'm a bloody misery because you make me bloody miserable because you're a bloody misery yourself. You're a bloody misery, am I? just need an excuse to do. Right. Nothing's going on between you and Jack, of course. Oh, no. You with the morals of an alley, Jack, and you're calling me a bully.
peace, Mum. Are you listening to me? Mum, I'm scared. What will happen the next time? You don't need this. Please let me call the police. You shouldn't let him get away with this. Please, Mum. Yes. Call the police. Hello, my, my name is Colin Price. My dad has just tried to kill my mum and she's hurt. The, the police. As, as soon as possible. He's gone out and he could be back any time. And we're scared. I, I'm 12 years old and our dress is... Mum, the police are here. Hello, Mrs Price. I'm WPC Peters and this is PC Smith. Are you hurt badly? The ambulance has been called and is on its way. Can you tell us very briefly what happened? My... <coughs> my husband, he... He tried to strangle me. He accused me of having an affair. I'm not... Has he ever been violent towards you before? Yes. Off and on. 27 years. But it's been worse in these last three years ever since he lost his business. We're going to have to arrest him for assault. What do you intend to do in the future? I don't know. I just want him out of our lives once and for all. You should contact your solicitor and apply for an injunction. That should keep him away from you and your son. Then if he assaults you again, there's a chance that he could be fined and sent to prison. I called the police. He tried to kill her. Go on, tell them. Mr Robert Price, your wife and son have alleged that you've assaulted them. Do you have anything to say about that? I don't know. Mr Price, I'm arresting you for assault. You don't have to say anything unless you wish to do so, but what you say may be given in evidence. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. I, I don't know what got into me. I, I just seem totally to lose control. I, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Jane, I want to change. I want another chance. Please, I'll do anything, anything you want me to do. But don't leave me, please. Please, don't leave me. The ambulance is here. Come on, let's go. No, Mr. Price, you're under arrest. You must come with us to the police station. That's a very distressing scene that's been portrayed there. But I mean, there are very, very sort of true situations which which that has mimicked. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, that that's the the real life situation for a lot of women. Now, you've actually walked into situations like that when when you've actually been in uniform, and 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 how does it feel to actually walk into a situation where where there has been violence in the home? It's quite frightening, really. It gets the adrenaline pumping but you're the professional, you have to be there, you have to take control and you have to be seen to be doing something positive. Otherwise, it, it doesn't do the woman any good whatsoever. Now, there must be lots of people that think, well, you know, she's put up with this for so many years. I mean, why didn't she do something earlier? Mm. What would your response be to that? Well, there's, there's, many, uh, there's many reasons why women stay in domestic uh, violence situation or violent situations. Um, if we try and put ourselves in her frame of mind, um, the first thing she's going to think of is if I go, I'm going to lose out, I'm going to lose lots of things, and those losses will be immediate. So she might think, I lose my home, my family, my children, security, financial So better security. the devil you know than the devil you don't know. Yeah, well also, I mean, she's also got the feelings of um, powerlessness, fear, guilt, um, it's my fault, I'm a fa failure. And what, what she doesn't think is, is the long-term gain. Um, and if she does think of a long-term gain, then it, it seems an impossible target. So lo the long-term gain would be um, her freedom, she would get her self-confidence back, her self-esteem, and she would have a life, and she, it would be a life without domestic violence. Because the whole of the life, if, if you're in...